What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we are at the capsule and that's to solve some mysteries because it is mystery week here on the CTC Review. And we're going to be doing that in the form of a candy with Laffy Taffy Mystery Swirl, two flavors in one. It says three for 99 cents on the package, but I got it for 25 cents at five below. That is way below five. <laughs> and then of course, the Kool-Aid Man is missing. So we got the Kool-Aid Mystery Jammers, and this 10-pack was only a buck seventy-eight at HEB. So a couple dollars for the whole review here today. We're on a budget. But uh, you know, as part of that, we gotta pay our dues by way of identifying mystery flavors for you guys. Should we start with the Laffy Taffy or the Kool-Aid, Ryan? What do you think? Let's do Kool-Aid. Let's do Kool-Aid, all right. So we already dismantled one of the packages here just so you could see what the flavor looks like. I don't know if there are any clues in play, but it is a kind of orangish pinkish mm -hmm. color. Mm. Nothing that uh, leads me. I mean, it does kind of look maybe like a watermelon flavor would maybe, but uh, certainly does not smell like one. No. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it old school style, mm. Capri Sun style. Here is what the package itself looks like. It is just the silhouette of the Kool-Aid man because he's missing until this flavor is identified or something. I don't know. Oh, no. But it's basically if you if you report back to them what flavor you think it is, you can win a ten thousand dollar vacation. Not a bad prize, but you know how we do it here on the channel. You guys can steal our guesses, and if you go on vacation, that's well, whatever. You know, we don't care. <laughs> We're just doing it for the fun of it. So uh, here we go. So we got the uh, jammer time. Cheers. Cheers. It's quite orange looking. Hmm. Hmm. That is hard. <laughs> no, it does not taste like orange. It does not taste or anything like it. orange at all. That's tough. It's good. It is good, but it's not as good as a lot of other Kool-Aid. I think it's a more complex flavor. Um, I mean, I, I think that the best guess here, just because it, it's such a, it's such a, uh, it's such a common flavor that you could in good conscience guess it but also it is a complex enough flavor that it's not readily identifiable by every person that tastes it, like the cinnamon and the churro Oreo was. I think it could be cotton candy. I'm good with, I'm good with that as a guess. Um, but I am tasting some peach. Okay, ooh, like a compound flavor. Yeah, I don't know. I'm tasting some peach, but I'm trying to think of what would pair with the peach. Hmm. And because of that, I guess I have to guess cotton candy because I think that's a real flavor. Whereas I don't think that the Kool-Aid man's going through all of these shenanigans to unveil a peach Kool-Aid. I just, mm. I don't. Um, this is one of the most challenging mystery flavors to guess Seriously. that we've ever had. Uh, and we've done a lot of them. It's got a peachy look. Actually. It does have a peachy look. Maybe it'll, screw it's it. Not, it's not brightly peach. It's not brightly anything though. Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, so if you're using that as your logic, what is it bright? What 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 is bright about it? Yeah, no. It's a pretty docile, dialed back, Kool Aid flavor. I kind of appreciate. It. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah. very drinkable. I. Uh, I go cotton candy. We're gonna go cotton candy, okay. right, Ryan? You good yeah. with that? Yeah. I mean, it's I'm not in love with the guess, and we might be wrong, but cotton just... candy. Candy? Could you call it peach candy? Peach gummy candy? <laughs> oh, like peach rings? Yeah. Yeah, but like that's such a strong flavor that if you if that was your impression of peach rings, mm. it's just a little bit too weak. Yeah. But let's go with that as our B guess. We'll do okay. two guesses. Okay. Uh, all right, so we got the Laffy Taffy Mystery Swirl. And we've already disassembled one of them here. It's a big, long stick. It is a swirled up flavor as you can see on the end pieces there. Oh, interesting. We got half blue and half red. 
unidentified flavors. So get in on that, Ryan, and let's see what we got. Cheers. Well, very chewy. I do think that part of the deal here is the colors might be there to give you a hint and they might be there to throw you off and yeah. it makes it really hard. Oh, you got it? It's like a bomb pop. Oh my God, it does taste <laughs> like a bomb pop. Yeah. What if it's a bomb pop? Hey, maybe, I mean, red and blue. Are we supposed to guess two flavors? Or? I don't know. What are the two flavors in a Bomb Pop? Blue raspberry and... Bomb Pop has three flavors. Right. Cherry, blue, and... <laughs> White. White. <laughs> blue raspberry cherry. I don't know. Tastes like a now and later. I could go a blue raspberry cherry. Which, judging by the colors, would be so easy to guess. I taste a little bit of grape in there, though. Yeah. Oh, definitely grape. Grape now and later, I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I could do like a grape raspberry on it. Ooh, yum. I do think that that could be it. But I love the bum pop guess too. Mm. So we gave two guesses on both. So we basically helped nobody do anything. But <laughs> maybe we're not the best detectives. We should yeah. have called in Angela Lansbury, right? That's right. Uh, maybe we will. Yeah, maybe we will on Friday. Who knows? Uh, oh man, I gotta tell you, uh, this was uh, this was not our finest work. I'm not real confident in our guesses, but we are going with peach rings or cotton candy, mm -hmm. and we're going with bomb pop or raspberry grape mm -hmm. on the Laffy Taffy. Now, in terms of the gimmick grade. I'm gonna give the Laffy Taffy gimmick grade an eight out of 10 for the mystery swirl gimmick. And with the packaging and all the pageantry that's going along with it, I'm gonna give a nine and a half out of 10 to the Kool-Aid mystery jammers. Uh, now ranking them in a capsule countdown for their taste. I think both are pretty solid, yeah. but I think I'm gonna give second place to the mystery jammers. Hmm. And the reason why is it's just a more dialed back flavor. And maybe look, Maybe that's a pro, maybe that's a con, but at the end of the day, these flavors were really bold and really good. So I think uh, both both with a strong outing, but second place on today's Caps Countdown for Taste gonna be the Kool-Aid Mystery Jammers with a score of uh, seven and a half out of 10. Mm. And then I'll give an eight out of 10 to the, uh, to the Mystery Swirl Laffy Taffy. This is a couple products you gotta go out and get. They're both good. I mean, they're both good. 25 cents, less than two bucks. I mean, there, there's no reason why that much fun should be that cheap. So go out and do it. Try it with a friend and see if you guys can come up with better guesses than Ryan and I, but I'm pretty good on our guesses. The longer I think about it and the more I think about those flavors, the more I do think that we actually made an okay accounting of ourselves. But uh, stay tuned on Friday for an all new CTC lightning round. We're gonna be looking at eight new chips and snacks for the spring of 2020 with a mystery themed product from the CTC archives. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, of course, I will miss you until I see you. Cheers. <laughs>